All right, hey everyone, what's going on? It's Baron. Today we're going to be talking about Pyro um, and Stanton. So I want to talk to you first about um, the distance between the two planets. As you can see, there's a fair bit of distance there. Um, I'm not sure if things like the um, little ships are going to make it, like the Auroras and whatnot. I just I don't know if they are. Um, but if you can, the best option is just to not go if you can make it but then you can't jump around the system because we'll talk about it in a second so i did see this picture the other day i wish i had saved it it could still be around but um if you have a look at the size of stanton if you right click on it in um arc map it's about 5 au so that tells you it's five astronomical units and i know people have gone over this before but no one's really understanding you know if you can take an aurora here what's the what's the drive what will you be able to do when you get there will you still be able to jump around because remember that's five astronomical units so from like lawville to microtech or it could be art corp it's about 55 million kilometers but now that they've put in those different jump points is i think there's a longer one there like 60 million i think i can't remember um but take that for size and go to pyro so the picture i seen the other day was to pyro 3 which apparently was the same size as stanton stanton yeah. i don't know if that's true but when i seen that image it could have been this outer ring here but i'm pretty sure it was just this little bit in here remember 13 au this is 13 astronomical units and if you could imagine the distance between Lawville, Arcorp, and Microtech. <laughs> What's the distance out there? <laughs> like, what? That's where you're going to jump in. I don't know if there's going to be anything there. But this is where you're going to enter in Pyro from Stanton. Stanton! I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to be able to get there. I wish I could think of a reason why you couldn't. But you're going to need people with capitals. You're going to, well, you're going to need people with the Carrick 890. Um, Caterpillar, sort of any real big ship, Odyssey if people, when it, if it's out and a few others, but just remember you have to have be prepared, you have to have all these ships and these fleets in place to go over there, or if you're going to go over there, be quick and nimble and don't mess about, because it's going to be a lawless system. Not everyone's going to shoot you when they come across you, but there will be a good chance that that will happen to you. So just remember... If you want to do this, it would be good if you know people, um, if you're in a, an org or discords as such, and you can sort of organize all of this. I mean, i got friends, I do this, We can, like I can do this, but um, a lot of people sometimes don't want to crew others, but it's kind of weird because people do like crewing on others. Like, I don't mind if someone wants to crew, like, crew their Kraken or whatever. I'll be a crew member, I don't care. It'd be nice. It'd be like a different experience, no, you know, not having to really think about everything all the time you can sort of just sit back in that position and just chill out and do as you need to and just have a good time while doing it i mean it's going to be all about the experience but um yeah just remember how big this system is in comparison to stanton and other systems because when it comes down to it this system's gonna it's it doesn't care who you are if you are some even if you're a wicked dogfighter in a gladius you're not going to be able to get around this system. It's just not a big enough ship. So let me know what you think down in the comments because this is a quite an interesting one. I mean, touching on this, I think it brings a different sort of aspect to the table of who and when will you go to Pyro from Stanton? Will it be like a leveling system? So when, you know, I've heard Space and a few others talking about this, but will you be on a certain level like Stanton will be level one? You have to get all your sort of certificates there. You have to get your basic flying in. So you'll have to have your, like your basic flying on point and sort of go through the, the routines and the processes of those two different systems. Um, just again, like Pyro could be level two. You might have to be, like I said, more advanced with those certificates um, and certifications to be able to go over there. I mean, I mean, like they're not going to have that limit there, but it's going to be like that. They're going to make you sort of realize that you have to get like better and you have to sort of learn the system and the game in Pyro, like Stanton, and then you can m like move your way under Pyro because Pyro, don't forget, is also going to be the 
one of the biggest sort of gang areas as well. So just thinking about that, there's going to be a lot of um, pirates there. There's going to be a lot of orgs there. It's just going to be, it's going to be chaos sometimes. But again, it may be pretty peaceful and scenic and depending um, what you want to do over there, I guess. But yeah, it's just, it's a little bit of a reality. So with Stanton, at least, like, um, we sort of know the system well now, but again when they first sort of bring all this out um they're gonna bring out like a beginner's guide sort of give you a demonstration of playthrough uh when all of this is in as well so that'll be really interesting to see so what do you think do you think that this would be a good sort of aspect to look at it or do you think you know will smaller ships and beginner ships be able to fly around there because i just myself i don't see that being able to be done unless you know there is someone over there contracting for a refueler so that you can go refuel and make the jump but again you probably won't be able to make that jump because you'll need something like an atlas drive or however big the ship is that you have at the time so just taking that into consideration is probably one of the biggest takeaways from this so if you want to do um gameplay and sort of play in pyro do the, the missions uh that you want do you see yourself being able to just go and find another Discord or find some Discords and then meeting some people or just going into channels? Because if you're on the Star Citizen official Discord, you can just jump in a chat and make one up and then someone will jump in with you and sort of you know, have a chat with you. But um, it, I guess it's like building, just it's all about building the relationships with the people that you know and the people that you've met in game because I've made some great like friendships from in game to now out of game on a daily basis so just take that into consideration you would make friends it's like everyone's going to need everyone but again like it's just good if you have something that is um beneficial to all of you but you know having that genuine relationship um it's just people don't really consider how big this game's going to be and where you can go what's like what the role is in some places you just need to realize all of this because it is a big takeaway and you sort of have to sit back and wonder like, okay, if I'm a new player, what am I, what is my potential work and what can I do over there? And, you know, going, depending off the ship that you've got, I guess, you can just sort of use that to your advantage. Hopefully there's a little bit of um, more sort of exploration role um, ships as well. I mean, having something like the Carrick, but even having the Carrick get some of its uh, functionality over there. So, you know, this is going to be a big system. It's going to be a lot of space, as I must admit, between um, Castra and um, Pyro 2 and all those planets down there. So it makes me want to think if there'll be more going on in around these areas here sometimes as well. Like, even though there's no one there, what are people going to be doing around the system? You know, what setups are they going to have and whether or not they can have large fleets. So just take that into consideration. Ask yourself, is it really worth having, I mean, I mean, just a starter ship and would you want to purchase a proper, like something like a Banu Merchantman or a Carrick or something, just something big enough to be able to get over there and go around the place? Um, or do you just want to stick around and sort of crew on other people's ships as well? So there's just so many different aspects you can think about this and it's a, quite an interesting discussion. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and, you know, enjoyed the discussion that we're having because I want to do something like this a little bit more often and see how you guys like it. But, uh, yeah, that's just one of my thoughts, but I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you in the verse. Bye-bye.